In 2012, Tesla Motors introduced the Model S, but it was really in 2014 when Tesla started shipping the Model S with autopilot hardware that people got really excited about the idea of self-driving cars, myself included. However, like a lot of folks, Teslas have either been outside of my reach financially, or I'm just not willing to stop every hour and a half to charge on a family trip across the state. But what if you could get Tesla quality autopilot on the car sitting in your driveway? That's right, a Silicon Valley startup called Kama AI is allowing people to do just that. Powered by an Android-based cell phone, the Kama Eon jacks into your car and gives it autopilot, just like a Tesla. And the best part is that the Eon works on many different makes and models of cars, from Honda, Toyota, Ford, Chevrolet, Kia, and more. Check the link in the description to see if the car sitting in your driveway is on the list. A quick giveaway is if your car has active cruise control and lane keeping assist. It's likely supported or soon will be. Let's take a look at the hardware that's required for this system to work. So this is the gray panda, and this is the actual interface between the Eon and your vehicle. It has an ODB2 port on this side, a USB port on this side, and an SMA connector on this end. This SMA connector goes to a GPS sensor that just sticks to your windshield. And that GPS sensor allows the Panda to get really accurate information about where your vehicle is positioned on the road. This USB port will plug into the Eon itself, and then this end plugs into your vehicle. So this is the actual interface. Next, we're gonna look at the giraffe. So the giraffe has the ODB2 port for the Panda, and then it also has this special connector that will be specific to your vehicle. In this case, this giraffe is for a Honda. So you'll unplug the vehicle, the cable from the vehicle that goes to the camera, and you'll plug that cable in here, and then plug this end right back into the camera. And that allows the Panda to interface with this cable, but also leaves your OEM hardware connected. These switches allow you to turn on and off specific features or disable this system entirely without taking it out. So if you need to take your vehicle in for service or if someone else is driving and you don't want them to use OpenPilot, you can turn it off right here. Finally, we have the Eon itself. And if you look carefully, you'll notice that it's actually a cell phone in a special case. It's a OnePlus 3, and it's in a 3D printed case with a fan mounted on the back and a heat sink to help keep it cool. There's the camera that the phone uses to look at the street and figure out where the lanes are. This is the mount, it uses a standard GoPro mount to mount to your windshield. The Eon runs a custom version of Android and in this case is running the OpenPilot software. And it works just like a normal cell phone. You can even go back and review previous drives right on the device. In addition to the Eon's amazing autopilot features, it also doubles as a pretty impressive dash cam. Simply visit my.comma.ai after a drive, and you'll find all of your recent drives uploaded where you can review them and also tag your disengagements. This helps the Comma AI algorithm prepare for similar situations in the future and overall makes the system better. Of course, this part is totally optional. Okay, here we are inside a 2019 Honda Pilot. And in order to install the Eon, you're gonna have to remove the cover that is typically up here behind the rear view mirror attached to the windshield. And it snaps off, it's no big deal. Uh, and then you'll expose this connector right here. And this, this is the connector we wanna unplug. 
and this is your actual camera right here. So you want to make sure the vehicle's off when you do this and you unplug this connector and then I'll show you how it connects to the giraffe. Okay, the next step is to take the giraffe and plug the cable directly into it. Okay, here you can see the cable from the car is now plugged into the giraffe. Next, I'm going to plug the panda in right here. Okay, here you can see the panda is now plugged in and we're ready to tuck everything in. On this side of the windshield, you can see where I've mounted the GPS sensor that plugs into the gray panda. Finally, the last step is to mount the Eon to your dashboard using the included GoPro mount. And then it will look something like this. When you're ready to drive, you'll see the camera is viewing exactly what is out in front of you. Now that I've told you what the Eon is and showed you how to install it, let's show you how it works. Here's my 2019 Honda Pilot, which has the Eon installed. Any Honda Pilot since 2016 or newer with the Honda Sensing package is capable of running Open Pilot. Open Pilot will work on nearly any road that has clearly painted lines or curbs, but the system really shines on the interstate. To activate Open Pilot, you simply enable cruise control, and Open Pilot will begin to steer, slow, and accelerate, keeping up with the traffic. Very similar to how Active Cruise Control works, only it does the steering for you as well and there's no need to continuously grab the wheel to let the car know you're paying attention. The Yan actually has driver monitoring capabilities and can tell when you're not paying attention and will alert you if it detects that you're not. This is because OpenPilot is what's considered a level two autopilot system. The same as what you find in a Tesla. This means that it's capable of managing your speed and steering under certain conditions, but you still must pay attention to driving conditions at all times and be ready to take over immediately if the conditions exceed the system's limitations. For example, my Honda Pilot has limited steering torque available, so sharp turns at speed will cause the Open Pilot to disengage. However, on the interstate, this is rarely a problem, and Open Pilot makes the family road trip an absolute pleasure. So, if all of this sounds awesome to you, here's how to get started with Open Pilot yourself. Check the links in the description and visit openpilot.app to pick up your Eon today and you'll be self-driving before you know it. Thanks for watching.